Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video for 6.2 equilibrium constant. In this video, we will learn uh, to derive and use the equation Kp is equal to Kc RT to the power of um, delta N. Okay, on your notes, it will be on page 5. Okay, so Kp ni is actually your equilibrium constant in terms of pressure and Kc ni is your equilibrium constant in terms of your concentration. So actually, this equation atau, ataupun this equilibrium constant can be related by using this equation. So, and then what based on our learning outcome, we have to derive it. Okay, so let's write it down here together. So, A ni is actually, uh, first we're going to write down our Kp. So, for our Kp ni, what I'm going to write down, here is, okay, write down Kc dulu, sorry. So that is for Kc. Next, I'm going to write down for my Kp. So, sekarang ni, sebab RT ni is actually, where do we get that? It's actually from our idea gas equation lah. PV go to NRT. And this equation is also used for, um, apa ni? If the species itself is actually in gaseous phase. So, kita akan ambil from the ideal gas law lah. So, from the ideal gas uh, equation, we know that PV equal to NRT. So, sekarang ni, how to relate the pressure dengan concentration is that right now, what I'm going to find out is actually, cari P, where it will include our concentration as well. So, sekarang ni, first thing first, uh, P ni akan jadi as my subject. Okay, and then, uh, macam mana pula ni kita nak relatekan dengan concentration. So, concentration, uh, miss buat square bracket je lah. Eh. Concentration, ataupun molarity ni is actually N over V. So, I'm going to write down. So, dia akan jadi P equal to N over V RT. Ataupun, I'm going to write down P equal to square bracket T. Okay. Square bracket ni, it means that it is our concentration lah. Okay, so from here, we know that the pressure and concentration can be related by this equation. P is equal to uh, square bracket RT. So, how to substitute this one into our Kp? So, let's uh, write it down together. So, for our Kp ni, is equal to, so this is pressure B kan? So, pressure is equal to yang square bracket ni lah. So, I'm just going to write down square bracket RT. Tapi, in this case, uh, yang ini square bracket of species. Species kita, this is B. So, I'm going to write down B RT. Tapi, jangan lupa, we have this one, this one to the power of B. Uh, and then, divide by the same one, kita akan buat square bracket yang ini. RT, remember this is actually for case of A. A. Yang ni lah. Okay, so P ni is equal to yang ini RT kan? Di sini. Okay, jangan lupa sebenarnya to the power of B, to the power of A, it's still there. Okay, so sekarang ni, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to expand it first. Okay, so this is actually the equation once we have expanded it. Okay, so sebenarnya, okay, kalau kamu nampak, this one is actually the same as our Kc. Ha, kan sama je kan? Concentration of B to the power of B divided by concentration of A divided by A. It's the same one. Okay, so kat sini kita boleh tulis Kp is equal to Kc. Okay, so RT ni macam mana pula? Sebab dia adalah indices kan sekarang ni. So, sebenarnya dekat sini dia akan jadi RT okay, to the power of B minus A. Ataupun kita boleh denotekan dia as KP equal to KC RT. Ini kita akan tulis as delta N. Where delta N is actually mole of product minus mole reactant. Yang ni B ni is actually kita punya product. ah Yang stoichiometry kita. Stoichiometry of product minus yang A ni stoichiometry of our reactant. So, 
this is actually equation. So this is how to derive KP equal to KC RT delta N. Okay, so sekarang ni, uh, this is actually a general equation kan. So how we're going to write it down in terms of um, a given equation. So this is actually a passive question where they ask you to derive lah. Ha, tapi kat sini dah bagi equation dekat kita kan. So, let's do it together. So, cari dulu KC dengan KP kita. Okay, so, this is actually for our equation kita. So, how we're gonna relate it together. So, remember that uh, for this case, dia akan jadi macam ni. So, where pressure kita, kita akan tahu dia adalah concentration divided by R. T. So, maknanya kita kena include kan lah. We have to include all the species tu dalam kita punya square bracket. Okay. So, this is actually when we substitute kan dia. So, sekarang ni what I'm going to do is actually um, apa ni? I'm going to expand this equation. So, dia akan jadi... So, bila Miss dah expand dah kan, uh, when I have expanded the equation, so dekat sini nampak tak SO2, O2, SO3 ni sebenarnya kita punya KC. Tapi kalau tak nampak lagi tak apa, I'm just gonna write it down dekat sini, where RT ni nanti Miss akan gabungkan. So, RT ni dah akan jadi R3, okay, 2 plus dengan 1 dekat sini, and then minus 2 di sini. Okay, so dalam case ni, kita punya equation kita, dia akan jadi KP equal to KC kat sini. Oh, this is our KC kat sini kan. Okay, RT sebab 2 plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, ha, tak perlu dah tulis. Okay, dalam case ni, delta N ni is actually, ha, remember, mole product minus mole reactant. Since this is actually a general equation, so kita dulu tulis delta N ni. Ha, dekat sini kita dah specific kan, kita dah boleh calculate kan. So, this is actually how to derive it. So, this is the, the derivation. So, let's look for the example lah. So, the equivalent concentration for the reaction between carbon monoxide and molecular chlorine from COCl2 gases are, this is actually the um, concentration for each of the species. Okay, so question asks you to derive the equation that relate KC and KP. And then calculate the equilibrium constant. Okay, so previously where well, lots of your example is where the equation is given to you, kan? Uh, page 3 dengan page 4 ni, my equation is given. Tapi in this case, we have to write down the equation ourselves. So, kita tengok kat sini. Reaction between carbon monoxide and molecular chlorine to form COCl2. So, to form COCl2, so it means that COCl2 ni will be our product. Okay. And then, it mentioned your phase. Okay, as you can see lah, from chapter 6 ni, semua equation dia, dia kena, uh, memang ada phase to itself. Why? Because from the phase tu, barulah kita boleh write down our KC and KP. So, kalau question macam ni pun minta kat kamu, uh, you have to include the phase as well. Okay, so this is actually the product. So, since it is a reversible reaction and the reaction is in equilibrium, kita kena buat lah arrow macam ni. Okay, so what is our reactant? Here, carbon monoxide and molecular chlorine. So, dia bagi hint dekat sini, carbon monoxide is CO. Okay, carbon monoxide. Dia, kalau carbon dioxide kan CO2. Dioxide tu, maksudnya, oxygen tu have to. The mono ni, mono ni one, so CO. So, CO is actually our reactant. CO is a gas. Pluskan dengan, we have our Molecular chlorine. So, kalau chlorine ni, molecular chlorine. Dia bukan kata chlorine atom. So, chlorine molecule. So, chlorine molecule adalah Cl2 lah. Because chlorine is actually group 17 kan. Ha, dia form, dia suka untuk form Cl2 ni. Why? Sebab each of the chlorine ni ada 7 uh, valence electron. So, they will share the electron. Okay, to form octet. So, they form Cl2. So, sini pun Cl2 is actually in gas. So, from this equation... Then we can continue answering our question. Okay, next the minta. Derive the equation that relate KC and KP. So it does not mention explicitly. Uh, kita kena derive yang ni kan. Uh, tapi sebenarnya kita tahulah equation 
um, apa ni an equation that uh, specifically relate this is kp equal to kc rt delta n so dekat sini i'm just going to write down my kc and kp dulu okay so from there we have to write down that p ni is actually equal to yang rt ni so p equal to concentration rt so next what i'm going to do is actually kita kena substitute lah one by one yang pressure ni to this part so okay so next what i'm going to do is actually uh, miss that relate kan kan this is actually this one this one dengan this one is actually our kc Okay, so sekarang macam mana pula RT ni? So ni RT ni to power of 1 kan? So RT 1 minus Yang ini pun 1 juga Sini pun 1 So minus 1 minus 1 So then I will get my KP equal to KC ha, Sekarang ni RT ni Dia adalah 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 RT to the power of negative 1 1. Okay. So, kenapa kami suka buat yang bracket ni? So, that you know lah. Yang sebenarnya R and T ni yang kita akan buat to the power of negative 1. Bukan T sahaja. It's actually both of this um, both of this variable. Okay. So, we have derived the equation. Next is actually calculate the equilibrium constant Kc and Kp. So, from the uh, information given here is actually what we have is our concentration. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to write down dulu lah information dia je. Okay, so this is actually the information. So, actually from here, yang kita boleh cari straight away is our KC because all of this is actually concentration. So, kita write down lah KC kita and we will we'll substitute the value. Okay, so now we do get our KC. So, how to find out our KP? Okay, so this is the first time kan kita guna this formula for calculation. So, first thing first, I'm just gonna write down balik kita punya yang ni. KP is our unknown. KC 216.04. Okay, so right now, what is our RT? So, R2 is actually our constant, yang gas constant tu. Our R is this value. Uh, since our R is this value and it has this unit, so T ni must be in Kelvin. So T ni, but then the question give it to us 74. So 74 plus dengan 273.15. So dapatlah temperature kita to be. Kan? Sebab, okay, remember R ni is this value. So T ni pun must be in Kelvin lah. Okay, so I'm just going to write down here. Okay, so this is actually the value. Okay, remember sebenarnya dekat sini RT to the power of negative 1 kan? It is actually delta N ourselves lah. So, delta N is mole product minus mole return. So, product kita 1 mole kat sini. Uh, 1 plus 1 dia jadi 2 mole. So, kat sini dapat negative 1. Ha, so, kalau contohnya example ni for this type of question, it does not mean that you have to derive where dapat boleh jawab. Boleh sahaja dapat straight away. Okay, so that is for question number 1. Okay, so sekarang ni kita tengok untuk question number 2 on page 6. So dia bagi dekat sini, calculate the KC for the following equilibria. So, this is actually the equation and then dia kata, uh, this is the KP. So, how to calculate the KC? We have to use the formula lah. So, dia akan jadi KP equal to KC. RT to the power of delta N. Okay, so KP kita dah tahu dah. So, temperature must be in Kelvin. So, it is given in Kelvin already. Okay, delta N. So, delta N ni is mole of product over reactant. So, N ni, remember, product minus reactant, number of mole dia lah, which is our uh, coefficient. So, product ni is actually 1. Minuskan dengan our reactant. So, reactant ni 1 plus 1. So, jadilah 1 minus 2 equal to negative 1. So, dekat sini, 
negative 1. So, we get our KC to be um, apa ni? 3.2. Okay, so this is actually the answer. Okay, dekat sini just not in, uh, just I'm going to write down the formula kat sini. And mole product minus mole reactant. And then your temperature must be in Kelvin. Ha, sebab kita punya R ni, it's actually 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. So, sebab itulah temperature dia must be in Kelvin. Okay. So, next is actually for our um, B pula. So, for question B. So, what we have here is uh, the equation S2 gas plus C solid equal to CS2. Okay, so how we're going to write it down? So, masih lagi KP, KC, RT, delta N. Okay, tapi dalam case ni, for the delta N pun, kita akan interested in our gas dengan equal sahaja. P for the case of, for this question, delta N kita, selalunya dia tak bagi equals lah. Ha, dia hanya bagi gas sahaja. So, untuk kita dekat sini, kita akan consider gas sahaja delta N tu. Delta N and kita consider gas sahaja sebab equals pun tak ada dalam soalan ni tak ada equals pun. Ha, jadi kita confuse pula. So setakat ni semua question dia banyak bagi gas sahaja. So dekat sini kita punya N is equal to product minus reactant. Okay product kita is 1 mole. Sebab dekat sini 1 kan? 1 mole. Okay dekat sini ha, this is 1 gas. Yang ini kita tak kira lah. So this is actually 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So, bila kita calculate ni, kita tulis sahaja dulu. KP kita 28.5 equal to KC. KC kita pun dapat 28.5. Okay. So, that is actually the uh, calculation. Ah, It's quite straightforward. Uh, yang ini, question yang lain ni, I believe you could try yourself. So, mostly we're talking about gas lah. Uh, yang ini je ada satu yang uh, tricky bit sikit. Okay, and then uh, question 4 pun, I believe you could try yourself. So, that's it for this video.